Man, social media really changes a person. <sighs> so almost eight weeks ago, I made the decision in order to better myself. I started eating healthier. I started reading my Bible more. I got rid of a really toxic friend. I started focusing on my business and I deleted social media. It was really hard to stay away at first, especially TikTok, but I somehow found the discipline to stick by this. Except to be honest with y'all, I re-downloaded Instagram just to check my crush's account, but I feel like it was for a good reason, okay? I'm not a stalker, I swear. I'm telling you this right now. This is the secret to knowing a guy's intentions. If you check his Instagram followers, I guarantee you'll find some girl's like sexual account. You will lose feelings so fast. <laughs> and this is a thing I do in order to get over weird immature crushes so that I can do what I need to do because I don't got time for that. But my crush wasn't following any of those accounts so I should not have re-downloaded Instagram to do this because now I am both shocked and frustrated. <laughs> Anyways, that was a huge sidetrack. <laughs> TikTok was definitely the hardest to get rid of. On average, I watched TikTok at least three hours a day. Whenever I was bored, I would instinctively grab my phone and go on Instagram or TikTok. So it definitely ended up controlling my life because it became such an addiction. And because of that addiction, it was really hard to get rid of, but I did and my life has changed. So here's what happened. The first thing is I have extra time for literally everything. Time is so valuable and there's so much time wasted just literally watching a screen, watching videos and making yourself like feel bad or whatever it is. Just, just like extra time wasted. It doesn't do anything for you except give you the momentary not even happiness, give you the momentary pleasure of just relaxing. And then you're mad at yourself later when you realize that you've been doing that for five hours straight. The second thing is that I'm no longer addicted. Addictions aren't good in general. And addictions like chain you up to this to whatever it is whether it's drugs or food or your cell phone so f finally being free from my phone and social media and gaining control has been really really nice and like like i broke the chains you know <laughs> the third thing is all the relationships in my life the relationship with myself has gotten extremely better the relationship with my family has gotten extremely better and my relationship with the lord has become extremely better i feel like without social media i've started to find myself more and i know this sounds weird but i feel like i have more of a personality <laughs> because i'm not in in my room all the time i do things like socialize with people and my family you know because the, the important stuff. And before social media, I didn't really want to hang out, nor did I want to with my sisters. My relationship with my sisters was pretty, like, average for today's life, but it wasn't happy. It wasn't good. My sisters watched TV all day, and I was sitting in my room on my phone all day. So there was like no interaction except for movie nights because we do movie nights every week. But now because the chains are gone, I actually want to hang out with them and I have been hanging out with them and we've been having a lot of fun. I even taught my sister how to ride a bike the other day. It was really cool. She's really good. Shout out to her. The fourth thing is mental health. I feel like with social media and mostly TikTok, people are very expressive about what they're going through. So you see that a lot of people have a depression and anxiety and all these issues and all these problems. And it's good that they're expressing this and getting help, but I don't know. It's just like seeing that all the time has impacted my own mental health and I've kind of taken it into my own life just seeing it all the time, just because it seems normal with how much you're seeing it. I guess. I don't know. Overall, seeing other people struggle with their mental health has impacted my mental health in a bad way. I'm not really sure why that is, but that's what happened. <laughs> I can't explain it though. But it doesn't help that a huge part of social media is filled with all the stuff you've ever wanted, like good relationships with a guy or the perfect body, you know, the perfect body. You're constantly being fed videos and pictures of all the stuff that you desire, giving you your own reality of what you want that you feel like you can't achieve and you really can't achieve in real life and it breaks you down. It makes you feel really bad about yourself. So not having these constant reminders that I don't have the most romantic love life or the perfect body or whatever it is like I'm not 
healthy or fit or whatever, not having those reminders has really helped me see the world in a different light. I started looking around, like especially at my school, and I was like, wait, we are all literally the same. We all have a story. We all have our struggles and problems and insecurities. And most of these people are single anyway. Like, yeah, it's not like everyone is achieving all of these things that you see on social media. Everyone is in the same boat that you are. So social media gives you an unachievable reality and expectation for yourself. So going a full two months without social media has really helped me get a grip on actual reality than the fantasy one that social media creates. And I'm so much happier now. I'm way more accepting with myself and with other people. My self-confidence has gotten better and I'm so much healthier mentally. <laughs> And not just mentally, physically with this, which is the fifth thing. The amount of hours just sitting down with no movement on top of school, because school you're just sitting down all day, that was so bad and it didn't do anything for me. Like I would get wounded walking up the stairs. So because I'm not on my phone all the time with social media, I have been actually active like a human being should. Now I can zoom up the stairs with no problem. That's an achievement. All right, that's everything. So overall, I truly, truly believe social media kills you, bro. It's better to stay away from it as much as possible. If you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you didn't, please hit the thumbs down button. I would really love to know to make my videos better for you. And I will see y'all next time.